Hey guys, hey guys, my name is Dam Larry and welcome to yet another exciting video. I'm going to be unboxing the Infinix X4 which is a recent device that was launched earlier this month and I'm going to do a quick unboxing video to see what's inside the box and give my first impression about the device. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Please kindly click on the subscribe button just below the video and let's get into the unboxing video. So guys, here with me I have the 32 gig inbuilt version with a 3 gig RAM the phone also has a 64 gig inbuilt memory with a with a 60 gram fashion the box is a light green box with a blue inscription of the s4 rating on it and um, i don't know if the other variants will have a different branding but this is what i got straight out of the box you find the device which greets you with the basic specifications the device comes with a 32 megapixel front facing camera which is a ia selfie camera a 6.2 inch water drop display a triple rear camera and also a dual 2.5d glass body which means the front and the back are made of glass so digging further into the phone pack, you find the ejector pin for the device. You find the see-through case, which is very helpful. And um, you find the documentation and manuals for those who need manuals, you have it there. You find the registration card for the phone, the screen protector. Now, when it comes to the accessories of the phone, the phone comes with the earpiece, the USB cord, and the charger brick which are the basic things you find on the smartphone pack so let's look at the phone so focusing more on the device itself infinix made serious emphasis about the 32 megapixel selfie camera which is ai sensored and uh, i'm still going to put that to serious test maybe in another video and also the three or what they call the triple camera setup or combo at the rear view so that i'm also going to put to test to see how it works and from what i've been seeing and what i've been hearing about the device the camera has been keeping up to standard but yes i'm still going to do my test and compare it with other devices and see if the camera is truly what they say it is so the back of the device is made from 2.5d glass which looks beautiful the color fade is amazing from a purple color to black color the fade was done beautifully well you can notice the shiny particles that were placed which makes it different among other fades when it comes to the back um, design of their devices all buttons are located at the right side of the device you have the volume rockers and the power button just below the volume rockers on the left side of the device you have the sim tray and the memory card tray which is a dual sim and a single memory card slot below the device you have the earpiece jack the micro usb uh, slot and the speaker looking at the back of the device you notice the three cameras which are a 30 megapixel a 8 megapixel and a 2 megapixel rail facing camera with with the LED flash just below the cameras. Right beside it, around the middle section, you find the fingerprint sensor for the phone, and just below at um, the down part, almost at the foot area. It's not really visible in the video, but there's a inscription where the Infinix S is written there, so you can check that out. I was not able to get that on the video, so sorry about that. So, putting up the device for the very first time, give a quick run of the specifications of the device while it's putting up 4000 mAh battery, which is quite huge if you think about it. The device comes with a 720p display, which I still find that a little bit shaking, especially the fact that we are in 2019. It runs on Android P, which is the latest Android um, version right now, and also it is a auto call processor clocked at 2.0 gigahertz so it's quite a high performing device if you look at the specifications booting of the device took about two minutes approximately two minutes actually and um i was greeted with this amazing display i found it very very bright and colorful it comes with a popular 
um, should I call it um, sidebar where you can put your favorite applications and easily access them when you need them you can add more applications if you like to also if you are not a fan of the notch there's a settings whereby you can disable the notch and to come with the normal chin like every other device but if you're okay with the notch then you can keep it or if you're someone that likes to confuse people you can toggle that when you want to so after using the phone for about five minutes i noticed the phone is a fingerprint magnet and i guess that's the reason why the clear case was made available in the device pack so i quickly inserted that and I quickly took out time to launch the camera and see what it has in store for us. Just a quick preview, um, checked out the video, I noticed the video shoots at 1080p with a 2720 display. I don't know how that works but um, I'm still going to put that to test to see how it works and compare it with other device in a new video, just showing you how bright and how um, sharp the cameras out quickly um, registering my fingerprint was fast and quick and there was no issues no i had no complaints about me registering my fingerprint currently the my variant of the phone which is a 3 gig ram and 32 gig inbuilt memory cost about 50,000 naira, while the one of 6 gig ram with a 64 in, uh, inbuilt memory cost about 65,000 naira approximately so you can check that out and see um, what you're willing to sacrifice to get what you want the 3 gig ram works well and works perfect so guys this is my quick unboxing video of the infinix x4 device um, if you have any question please leave them in the comment section i'll take out time to answer comments there and i'm going to be giving a full review of the device and also compare the device to other um, new or uh, older devices out there in the market so why don't take our time to subscribe so when those videos are out you'll be aware of the videos and do not forget to click on the bell notification button just beside the subscribe button thank you very much i remain Damilari Bakari. see you next time